is up everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. Time to go over some sales and this is a special edition of two items you should not sell, right? So I know you guys are used to seeing the higher sale items. Well, I picked my two items that I sold for the lowest price this past week. And I figured, hey, you can't always just show all the wins, right? That's what happens out here in the YouTube world. Everybody tries to show off all their wins. Nobody wants to talk about any of their losses. And the reality is, in any reselling business, you are not winning every time. And if somebody tells you they're winning every time, they lying. So if this is for the week of October 8th through the 14th, right? So five sales, two, my worst two sales of the week kind of dive into those what happened with them and then three three decent sales all right so we're gonna jump right on into this fun filled what sold party if you're interested in being around media sellers join the youtube channel 2.99 cheaper than a happy meal almost forgot to plug that i don't know i i, I am what i am okay so let's jump into it first stinky sale you smell that that stinks we sold a dvd to the ends of the earth we sold it for $12.01. Profit after fees is $5, right? So, yeah, whoa. Five bucks. You got five bucks in that wallet? You're going you gonna to pass up five bucks? Well, let's take this into consideration. Doesn't include your buy cost, right? Maybe you paid $3 for this, and all of a sudden that's down to $2 profit. Doesn't consider how long it's been sitting in Amazon. Storage fees. Doesn't consider the chance it gets damaged and sent back and then you have to have it removed. You're losing money. This is the stuff I want you all to stay away from. You wanna live the low dollar grind life, go for it. You gotta value your time at some point. And what happens here, a lot of new people, they just, oh, I'm gonna send it in. I'm gonna make two bucks, I'm gonna make five bucks. And you don't take all these other things into consideration prepping the item especially if it's got to get resurfaced right maybe this was a used dvd and i had to run it through the jfj another time sink and cost five hour profit dvd before any cost or time is a no-go trust me especially in the media world before you know it you'll just have a bunch of junk sitting there so next up another wah, wah, wah. this was the lowest sale of the week at twelve dollars fifty easy hats to knit this is a bigger, probably, you know, one of those harder paperback knitting books. Sold it for 12 bucks. Profit is 461. Softbacks, I'm usually into for like 50 cents, 75 cents. So I'm looking under four bucks profit before time, before storage fees, before any of that. Not a good buy. Um, it probably was a good buy, but we all know this is a reality of selling on Amazon media. It's a race to the bottom. You can cry about it and quit, or you can get on the race to the bottom train. These things happen, maybe you break even, maybe you lose a couple cents, but you take that little bit of money and put it into better products moving forward. You can't get caught up with, oh my God, Mike, the prices are tanking, Amazon sucks, I'm gonna sell on eBay only. Don't be that person. It's the game we play. Prices tank on eBay too. You just don't see it as often, right? You're not going in and checking what your prices are at and what the competition is at. How many of you eBay sellers out there are checking, you know, the, the price of that item you have listed on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis? I would argue it's a tiny, tiny percent. The reality of Amazon, we're always racing to the bottom. Don't let it affect you. The same with the returns. I mean, if you're gonna whine about that stuff, Amazon ain't for you because I'm here to tell you that's all it is. So those two stunk. We're moving on to some decent stuff now. Uh, this one, this is another learning lesson. Scary Godmother Halloween Spooktacular. Sold it for $29.99. Profit was $20.27. So whenever you see $99 at the end of my prices, that usually means there's no other FBA offers, right? So when I bought this, there's probably merchants on the listing. We have them here. It looks like they're probably around 20 bucks. So I priced it up an extra $9.99. I sourced this at the beginning, like the first week or the last week of September to the first week of October. And I thought to myself, is this going to get checked in in time and sell, right? Because it's a Halloween movie. Um, that's when you got to know what's going on, right? How long, what's your check-in times? A week, two weeks. My check-in times have been great. I'm right around probably 
If I ship it on Monday like I always do, they're usually always at least in receiving by Friday. So this is one of those ones I said, all right, Halloween, I got about a month for this to sell and get checked in, sell, get transferred if it's gotta get transferred. Didn't pass this up. I paid, I think $3 for this at the Goodwill. So profit after our cost was $20, 27 cents. There is a lot of money in seasonal items such as DVDs, CDs, books. Um, and this is just one of those great cases where there was nobody used FBA. I mean, it's guaranteed basically to sell. And I'm pretty sure the sales score on this was pretty low too. But it's the holiday season. It sold. All right, moving on. We got two more. Man, I took a crappy picture of this one. I can barely see it, but I can. NIV Adventure Bible. I've come across these so many times. So usually when you find these out in the wild, they don't have the box, right? It's just one of those, I don't have any right here in front of me. It's the faux leather Bibles. You are booksellers, you know what I'm talking about, but it's got the ISBN, it's like etched on the back. And if it's not on the back, it's on the inside. But the problem with the inside one, Usually these come in different colors here, right? This one's the blue one. <laughs> so I'm actually colorblind. I can see the difference between black and white, but if it's like purple and blue or like pink and red. So when I open this up and it's got all the ISBNs of the colors, I'm sitting there like, what color is this? Like, I'm trying to figure it out. It's a headache. So thankfully, I'm sure this one had it on the back here. We sold this one for $44 and I think 90 cents, I don't know. It's somewhere close to that. My picture's terrible. Profit was $29.73. Amazon basically takes 15 bucks. Bibles, a lot of places you can get them for free. Don't go take everything that's free. Take what you want and leave the rest for somebody else. Um, so not bad, 30 bucks profit. Probably paid a dollar for it. So, I mean, I'll take these kind of sales all day long. Last one we got. Another good lesson here, Dutch flower painting. We sold it for $53.39. Profit was $35.56. Amazon takes 18 bucks. Sheesh, 18 bucks? That's high, but the reason why, I say this all the time. The fees are based on the size and weight of a book. This was one of those big coffee table books crushed coffee table books there's so much money in them the fees are higher but there's not a lot out there in circulation they usually sell pretty quick and they usually have good topics to them right like dutch flower painting there's not a whole bunch of those made right so you know they're going to sell eventually with time but 18 bucks that's the reality of selling a, a 50 dollars coffee table book on amazon and again you don't get caught up with the fees we're buying this for a dollar you turn it into 30 bucks and you move on to the next item. That's the way this game works. So those are the sales. Lessons today, don't sell the garbage. You're just doing busy work, right? If I gave somebody here a thousand CDs or DVDs that are gonna make you $3 profit and said, okay, here you go. You gotta inspect them, clean them, pack them, ship them. It's not worth your time. I can't say it enough. So it's gonna do it for the video. I appreciate you watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more YouTube videos. Bye-bye.